dear fellows and colleagues, it's both an honor and a privilege to stand before you today and welcome you to our amazing sleep medicine community. My name is Kenan Dramar, and I am a sleep medicine physician at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and currently serve as the president of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. As much as you are excited to join your respective sleep medicine fellowship programs, we, the staff, are also excited to meet you soon, to learn together, and to be on the same journey to move the sleep field forward so that we can help our patients. The reality is that this excitement is probably tempered by our current situation that our country is going through. These are unprecedented times. In addition, some of you have moved to new places to start your training. Some of you are appropriately worried and concerned for your own safety and safety of your loved ones. You might also be anxious on whether you'll be able to learn or get the training that you need to be a good sleep medicine physician at the end of your training. Let me reassure you that this is not the moment to despair. Rather, I would encourage you to take advantage of the situation and convert these challenges into opportunities. Telehealth is a good example. I might have only seen one to two patients via telehealth prior to COVID-19. Now, I'm very comfortable managing patients using telehealth in a productive and useful way for our patients. So do not give up and definitely do not give up hope. You might have heard about the story of two frogs. The two frogs played and hopped in the rain outside and came home to find a churn of milk. Both the frogs fell into the churn. The two frogs did their best to get out of the churn, but not of any use. One of the frogs lost hope and said, I cannot try anymore, and unfortunately drowned. The other frog did not give up and was trying its best to get out. The frog kept trying and trying, and the movements of the four limbs churned the milk into butter, and the frog climbed on one pad of butter and was able to use that as a way to leap and to get out of the churn. When you try your best and you don't give up, despite the obstacles and challenges you face during your training, you will come out as a better person and as a better clinician. Your program director, staff, and the program will take good care of you. We at the American Academy of Sleep Medicine are also here to help you as well with resources, similar to the virtual recent boot camp that some of you might have gone through, which was conducted by the Sleep Medicine Fellowship Director's Council. Do not hesitate to reach out to me if I can be of any help. Looking forward to meeting you all one of these days in person at one of our American Academy of Sleep Medicine conferences. Congratulations again, welcome, and wish you the very best.